Welcome to the Summer's Woodworking Show at Season 3, Episode 34. I'm your host, Brian Gidney. And tonight we're going to talk about WIA, uh, some of the contests that are going around, and general chat. So hopefully this is exciting and uh, you learn something. Anyway, I want to start with you, Chris. You want to tell people who you are and how you can be found? Yep, my name is Chris O'Hearn. Um you find me on Facebook under Old Cranky Workshop, or just under my name, Crystal Hearn. And on YouTube under Crystal Wheeler. So, I haven't done a lot of videos, mostly for contests, but I'm getting to the point where I'm going to start doing some projects for you. Didn't, been but, doing pretty good? Getting there. I, got, I had to learn to use my camera before I go further and start doing project videos. So, okay. I use the, use the contest as an excuse to learn to use my camera. Yep. <laughs> And we got Patrick. Hey, Patrick. What's up, guys? My name's uh, Patrick from Patrick's Workshop. You can check me out on YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, those kind of places. Periscope. <laughs> Periscope sometimes. Yep. And I'm Brian Gidney. I'm your host of Summers Woodworking Show. You can find me at summerswoodworking.co. The show is located there and lots more things. Uh, tonight we're going to talk about WIA 2015 and uh, I think things are going pretty good there. I mean all us, well not all of us woodworker <laughs> creators are enjoying ourselves but the ones that are there, they're treated like celebrities and uh, I've seen people asking for autographs and doing autographs and mingling with one another. Uh, what's your take on it, Chris? Well, like you said, it seems like they're being treated very, very well. Um, the turnout, I guess, was better than expected amongst the YouTube guys and girls. Uh, April's there, too. Um, so, yeah, I looked at the going, but it's such a timing and Things like that, and I also looked at the lineup of uh, vendors and whatnot. They're pretty much the same ones that go to the woodworking show. So I'm, they're going to be 30 miles, 40 miles from me in January. I can wait and do that one. Yeah, uh, the woodwork show. Uh, and there's enough New Englanders. I'm going to see if I can get those guys to get together at that one. So yeah. Uh, so eventually, I like to go to one of the big ones like WIA, but. It's going to have to be a family trip, and I can't see my wife just hanging around in Kansas City. I mean, what is there to do? <laughs> <laughs> so, outside the barbecue, which I know she likes too, but I uh, can't expect her to hang out there all weekend while I go have a good time. She already does that enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, that's what's my opinion. So it looks like it's going well. What's your take, Patrick? Pretty much what he said. It looks like it's going well. There's a lot of attendees there. Looks like a fun time for everyone. Wish I was there, but uh, next time, I guess. Yeah, I agree. Mm. Me and you've been hanging out. We've been watching the guys have fun. A little bit, a little bit. And, uh, man, I wish I was there, too. Mm -hmm. A lot of those guys I just love, and, and uh, I watch all of them, and... Uh, to sit there and be amongst them all would be great. <laughs> yeah. I wished I was there. Mm. Next time, anybody I guess. Know, anybody know what next year is? No, yeah, they I, don't announce until January, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's when they announced it for this year. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, it's to a city near me. <laughs> Coming to a city near you. <laughs> Because I was broke as a joke. It'd have to be close. <laughs> I think it's like to be a city where there's something more to do than just that. So yeah. We'd have, to, uh, we'd have to make it a vacation trip, too. So. Might as well. It's going to cost the same as a vacation would anyway, right? Exactly. Exactly. Um, my wife and I both being marathoners, we use our marathons as an excuse for vacation. So, there you, you know, go. it kind of just, justifies going to different places, but. And would have to be the same thing with this. I have to justify a vacation around it. True. Uh, just to make it affordable and reasonable. 
Yeah, I've been talking about us meeting up for, what, two, three years now. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about mm -hmm. meeting up at the Alamo at one time. Would you guys travel to the Alamo? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. That's a haul. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'd have to really, look at it at the time and yeah, place. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's hard to say right now. Yeah, I mean, I, would I be interested? I'm a big history buff. I'd love to go to the Alamo. But yeah. everything I do is always time, place, and where does yeah. the schedule. So. Yeah, same here. And, yeah. and like yourself, it's budget-oriented, too. So. And getting off of work and whatnot is kind of difficult sometimes, too. Yeah. 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 Biggest thing for me is budget. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're well, not alone on that. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'd I'd like to be up there to meet Drew and meet April, meet Nick. Yeah, Nick seems like he's the life of the party up there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Carmichael can be too. I met him down in yeah. Atlanta this past summer. Yeah, Carmichael, man, I'd like to meet him. He's a good egg. Uh, what I like about him is what you see on the screen is is exactly what he is. He just seems like I have a good time and. Enjoys the project. Doesn't take it way too seriously. Yeah, my yeah. homeboy, my homeboy Sterling Davis. Yeah, yep. Braxton, man. Yeah. We've been talking with Braxton. He he's just down to earth guy. I just love him. Check him what out on YouTube. What are we gonna do without Sterling online tonight? Watch him slowly sinking into his uh his brain. <laughs> As the night goes on, he gets worse and worse. Yeah. He's just there having fun, and I don't blame him. I would no, I, too. I, I applaud that. I'm a big fan of having fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's a quiet night without him online. <laughs> yeah, Sterling and uh, Mike Fulton and uh, yeah. Jimmy Diresta showing up as G.I. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I guess today he was in his, uh, his little... Uh, figurine kind of get out. He had his jacket and the handkerchief and everything hanging out. Yeah, that's just a style, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I was surprised you didn't walk around with his his axe handle, or or was he? I think I saw it in some pictures. Yeah, I seen him holding a hatchet of some sort. Well, woodworking but, show is the one place you could get away with walking around with a hatchet in your hand. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Doing well, too well with a ballet show or something. So. Man, did you did you see the size of that hotel, man? Yeah. Nice. Holy cow, that was nice. Yeah. And I guess they were having a pizza party last night. Oh yeah, yeah. That's cool. yeah. So. All I can say is is. Next year, hopefully, I can meet up with everybody. That'd be great. Yeah. Now, let's... Okay, what are you going to say, Chris? No, it's just you got to plan ahead and stop budgeting for it. That's what we usually yep. do. Yeah. Um, we were planning to go to Key West this January, but having to put a new ceiling in the kitchen from last winter's storm canceled that trip. Yeah. Um, uh, <coughs> Now I want to talk to you guys about some contests that are going on. Um, let's see here. I'm going to do a screen share. Oh. Let's see here. The Pick Boys is doing a giveaway for some easy wood tools. They're giving away the starter system. It's a rougher finisher and detailer. Hmm. And uh, Empower Tools, I guess they were doing a giveaway on their uh, credit card stone. So you could do some sharpening and... Uh, Carter and Sons was doing a giveaway on the roughing gouge. But the best contest that's going on now is the one I'm holding. <laughs> I heard about that somewhere. Yeah, it's the, our third annual Birdhouse Challenge. It's, it's right now currently going until October 2nd of this year. 
but I figured with everybody being wrapped up in WIA that I might extend it till the second or third week of October. That way it gives people enough time to get at least one entry in. And uh, right now you're allowed two entries per YouTube channel. And uh, what I want you to do is just create a build video no longer of 10 minutes in length and submit me the link to that video to Brian at summerswoodworking.co. That way I don't miss any of the videos that are being published because not everybody is on my watch list. <laughs> so what you do is you go over to summerswoodworking.co forward slash contest dot html it'll bring you to this page and if you go down here to where it says prizes and this cool. is the prize page and fast cap is giving away two one hundred dollar gift cards and empower tools is giving away their uh, credit card uh, diamond stone plus holders Centipede Sawhorse is giving away their smaller uh, Centipede Sawhorse. I should say Centipede Tools is giving away their Centipede Sawhorse. That's two feet by four feet. 12V Tools is giving away their half inch shear angle flush router trim bit. And Easy Stud Rack is giving away four packages of their Easy Stud Rack systems. Uh, Manhattan Wood Project is giving away a cap and a cup. Miter Mike's is giving away a t-shirt. Color of your choice, of course. And My Woodworking World is giving away two t-shirts. Now, I don't know about color specifications, but I think he's just giving away two shirts. Zach over at NV Woodworks is giving away... I believe a stopper blank and a pin blank and I, I, I think he also told me that he's gonna give away the kits too so you don't have to buy nothing huh. easy wood tools is giving away their easy start finisher general finishes of course let's see here easy wood tools is for USA only General Finishes is USA only, and they're giving away three pints of your choice of stain, conditioner, or whatever you want. Uh, Jack Clamp is USA only. They're giving away a Jack Clamp system, as you see here, plus a short bar that they just came out with, which is a shorter bar. And it's not on the market yet and along with these emergency lights that uh, has those glow sticks that go inside here. They're not on the market yet, but they're giving that away. William Lutz is giving away this Ryobi 7 quarter inch circle you'll saw. And uh, I believe that's USA only. And Simply Wooden Creations is giving away $25 Home Depot card. And I take it that it's USA only, too, because I don't know if any other country has Home Depot. Right. So that's what I got for prizes. I was going to categorize by the 15th of this month on uh, where I was going to, you know, pick what goes first, what goes second, what goes third, and such. But I got, like, eight or nine entry so far and uh, I got as you can see I got more prizes than I got entries right now so they normally start rolling in at the end of the month anyway yeah so anyway as soon as I get more entries I'll figure out how I'm gonna bundle these if I'm gonna bundle them or if I'm just gonna have them as individual you know prize package and let's see here. You go back up to the contest page. You scroll down. 
right here is where the YouTube playlists are. Cool. And this tells you about the 2x4 challenges, and this is the birdhouse challenges. If you go to the third one, I guess we got 10 entries. Cool. And you can select it by hitting that menu, see which videos you'd like to see, or else you can just play play through the list here just by hitting play. And it will play on my website. Uh, so if you'd like to be a sponsor of this contest, get a hold of me at, on Facebook or write me an email at brian at summerswoodworking.co and I'll be glad to put you down as a sponsor. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> right now, that's pretty cool. Had I thought about it, I would have built a birdhouse during the 2x4 contest. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Do that and the Whirly Gig. <laughs> there you go. How about a Whirly Gig birdhouse during the 2x4 contest? Mm. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I had somebody say, hey, what if I make it out of a 2x4 and enter it for your 2x4 competition and the birdhouse? <laughs> I was like, yeah, if you want to. <laughs> Double dipping. Nothing wrong with that. Yep. You find a way to do it. Um, and like I said, you're allowed up to two entries, so yeah. I mean, a birdhouse shouldn't take you no more than an hour or two to build. Uh, you would think. It gets out of control. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. Like 90 well, hours, it, man. It, it, it all depends on your creativity now. Right. <laughs> um, you know, I started out as going to be a simple box birdhouse, you know, the, the type you see on TV all the time, and Oh, let's put a second floor on it. Next thing you know, it's got a shingle roof. And I go, oh, now I'm out of control. <laughs> got yeah. ten, toilet, 10 bathrooms, you know? Well, of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a place for the cement pond. Yeah, the <laughs> cement pond. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. But, yeah, I didn't say it had to be made out of wood. Yeah. <laughs> concrete birdhouse. That'd be epic. <laughs> yeah, hollow out some concrete. Call it a day. <laughs> but yeah, as those prizes you can see, I'm inviting turners. So if you want to turn a birdhouse, go yeah. for it. Um, I mean, Carl Jacobson last year, he did this turn birdhouse. Kind of looked like a crankshaft. Yeah. He did that off-site turning and... Uh, Custom Chris, he did a cool birdhouse that he turned. And I'm more lenient this year. I'm not expecting anybody to uh, put my uh, uh, stamp or anything on it. So that's pretty cool. It opens up the market there. Yeah. Hey, Hi, Alan, how's it going? Great, Brian. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. I, I just got done telling everybody that Easy Wood Tools is sponsoring the Birdhouse Challenge and that they could get a rougher. Finisher. A finisher. Yes, the Easy Start Finisher. Did oh. I? Okay. Did I mess up? I think, you said, <laughs> I think you said finisher. Yeah. Let me go back to the contest page. Well, I Let's think you see. did say it, though, just now. Prizes... Yeah, finisher. Okay, I, I was go. right. I just, I just messed up on my saying. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. You're roughing up the show there, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I was showing people the contest page, and uh, excellent. It is the finisher. <laughs> that's it. Oh, yep. That's definitely what I need right there. And that's for USA only, right, Alan? Well, made in the USA only. Yeah. Well, I know it's made in America, but is it just shipping out to the USA, or can we ship yes. it worldwide? Yeah. Well, no, this we just ship it uh, inside the U.S. Okay, cool. So I got that right. <laughs> yeah. Cool, that's no, awesome. I mean, we'll, we would ship it outside the U.S., but uh, we probably would ask to uh, cover the uh, the difference in shipping. Yeah. Okay, well, then I can mention that. 
I'm going to do an update video here pretty soon because I'm extending the deadline. With WIA, I figured, you know, there's a lot of people, can, you know, trying to attend. So I figure I just extend it to the middle of next month. There you go. There you go. That gives people time to get more entries right on. Yeah. Because right now, as we're looking, we got 10 entries, and I got more prizes than I have entries. So <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe I can uh, toss my hat into the ring and build something, you know? Cool. Maybe. No guarantees, no warranties. <laughs> I see that you got your X car building. I'm working on it. It's uh, it's coming together. That's good. Yeah. What do you got left to do? Uh, Z axis and wiring. Okay, cool. <laughs> Put the wasteboard on still. And what are you working on, Chris? Oh, uh, like I said, the birdhouse. I've got a commission for a mirror frame, and about. Two weeks ago, I dropped the mirror. <laughs> I had to replace the mirror. <laughs> Luckily, it wasn't a family heirloom or something. It was just some cheap mirror that the woman had. But I got panicky there. I dropped grandma's, great grandma's mirror somewhere. <laughs> but um, I got that done. And like I said, we're moving into the holidays, and I got a few holiday gifts I got to knock out. Um, in fact, I got a sample of one here. My uh, little Christmas ornaments. Cool. So, nice. Those on the lid. I think I can knock those out fairly quickly, too. So, uh, Sweet. Yeah, we're getting about that time of the year that Carl and Alan are going to be doing the wood turning challenge, isn't it? The Christmas ornament right? challenge. Yeah. 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 That's That's I was wondering if they're going to do it this year because I got an idea I want to do for it. and um, I want to make sure they're going to do it before I waste those hours doing, working on it. Mm. <laughs> um, I believe that's in November. Is it? Uh, cool. Yeah, yeah well, I gotta be wrapped up and out of the shop. Usually, right around Christmas time, it gets a little too cold to be out there. Oh yeah. Same I here. In, I want to move it back into the house until oh uh, late March. So. I can't. I can't wait for it to get cold here. It's 102 right now. Wow. Oh wow. Where are you? At? Where's everybody at? I'm in Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Yeah, I'm outside. Of, I'm outside of LA, a few miles. Oh. Yeah, this is Patrick Curtis at Patrick's workshop. Got you. I got uh, Patrick I, in the blue hat, LA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm right outside Boston, about 20 miles out. Cool. We're just all over the place. Boston. Yeah. Yeah, Boston. He's, he's Boston. Boston. <laughs> The land of championship team. Go Yankees. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Don't you get Bob Mayette and I on the line at the same time. We go at it about the Yankees and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Either Rhode Islander is a Yankees fan. We haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> yeah. Alan, do you know of okay. any challenges that are going on or uh, any... Uh, Events? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, wood turning events. Um, the ones that I'm actually going to be heading out to, and that's what I'm doing uh, today and tomorrow is kind of prepping, but uh, I'm going to go. I've got to run up to Chicago on Monday just for a, a business meeting, but then next weekend I'll be heading down to, uh, and of course I'm here in Owensboro, Kentucky. Um, but I'm going to fly down to right outside of Orlando to a new Rockler store that's opening up in Altamont Springs. And that's uh, October 3rd. And then two weeks later, October 17th, speaking of California, I'm going to head out to uh, right outside of Sacramento to another Rockler grand opening. Wow. It's actually called Rock Rockland, California. I guess it's a little town outside of. Yeah, I know where that's at. And then I'm going to hang out and kind of work my way north um, that week to the following weekend. I'm going to hit uh, Woodcraft in Portland, do a demo there. In fact, I think Tommy Mack's going to be there that, that Saturday, too. Oh, cool. That's cool. But, yeah, there's a lot going on. Uh, we also, I know you guys aren't around Atlanta, but uh, we've got one of our other retail stores is Highland Woodworking. And uh, 
uh, Atlanta, and we're going to have one of our good uh, friends, uh, Bradley McAllister, is going to be demonstrating Easy Wood Tools there. And uh, that's let's see, I'm looking up on my board up on the wall here. That's yeah, that's the 17th too. But I could go on and on. Yeah, we <laughs> we got a bunch of stuff. We got a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, Woodworks uh, Supply in Columbus, Ohio. They're having their fall expo on uh, October 1st through 3rd, and uh, Bradley McAllister will be there as well. So, yeah, we got we got a bunch going on. Wow, sounds great. Wow. Glad you're busy. Yeah. So if busy. you guys are in that area, go check them out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, uh, we're... We're trying to keep our uh, our site updated. We're just getting a uh, newsletter going, and uh, so we'll start announcing all the upcoming events over the next uh, week or so. And as you guys know, man, for woodworkers, it's we're getting into that busy time of the year. Oh yeah, Christmas laminate and <laughs> Yeah, time to That's make the cool. savings. Yep. You got anything yep. going on in New England? What's that? Anything going on in New England? Um. Not that I'm aware of. Um, the closest to New England that, as far as any upcoming events that I, I am aware of, and this is not real close, but it's in that neck of the woods, is uh, the Woodcraft and Walpole. Is it it's either Maine or Massachusetts? It's, the, oh, yeah. it's a new Wal Walpole, Mass, New England, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they've got an event. I believe it's November 7th, and I'm going to try to get up there for that. All right. That's cool. Look it up. In fact, that's when I want to go to Woodcraft. That's the one I go to. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Even though there's one closer to me, but I've had a bad business experience with them, and I won't oh, give them yeah. any money anymore. So, I, yeah, I hear you. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So I'll, I'll travel further and give the money to the people who treated me right. That's true. And, yeah. and that's that's exactly right. I wish uh, I wish business owners would. I mean, some do, some don't have their minds wrapped around the whole concept of it. Boils right down to us guys. It's it's the end user, and if we're treated poorly, we're not coming back. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Not to go into great detail, it was something I ordered in February, and it was a shipping problem. And I work for the Coast Guard, so I understand there's a huge shipping problem from overseas on the West Coast. I right. knew that, but every time I looked for my order, I got a different story. Yeah. Why it wasn't in yet. That uh, right. For four months, they had my money, mm. and I, I didn't get my order. So I finally canceled it, and they got ticked off at me that I canceled it. Yeah, isn't that something? Suddenly, I was the bad guy. <laughs> that, yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, we everybody makes mistakes. That's yeah. that's a given. It's how you take care of that mistake. Stand up and do the right thing. That, yeah. Yeah, that's what we try to do at, at Easy Wood Tools. Well, I went to the other woodcraft, and they actually honored the price, the sale price of the other of the first woodcraft. And they didn't have a sale going on. So, yeah. You know what? They went above and beyond, so they get my business every time now. Right on. Uh, Bravo. Yeah. They're opening a lot of new Rocklers, huh? That's pretty cool. Yeah, well, yeah, two of them anyway, so yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if Laney's going to be there. Uh, I know they got one going on in, where, Dallas? Because right. I, I know Drew and April are going to be. And a grand opening. Yeah. What is that? A Rockler in Dallas? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's in Dallas or maybe Arlington or something. And something. That, that's uh, April. Yeah, April Work Wilkerson and uh, mm. Drew Short. Yeah. Oh, April's the name of the person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when is it? Ah, uh, I sure. think it's next month, isn't it? Sometime in October, I think. Huh. Seems like I would have heard about that, but hey. <laughs> I'll have to check into that. Mm. Yeah, there you go. The only thing April Wilkerson hasn't done is turn something yet. No late at this point still, but she's getting one soon, I bet. Oh, yeah. she's. I'm amazed. I mean, she's what, mostly self-taught? All self-taught, yep. Yeah, right, yep. yeah. She, she amazed me watching her videos. But, yep. I mean, and she, she's gone straight to, you know, big projects, like the one she did with the, the double sink for her parents' house. Yeah. Yeah, that And I built my cabinet nice. in my kitchen, but I went into that very gingerly, like, okay, I don't know if I can do this. So, but uh, <laughs> she went head charging into a big project like that. So yeah, she's a smart cookie there, that's for sure. Yeah. 
I was very impressed with that. Mm. And let's face it, which one of us doesn't have a crush on April? She's married. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. You can still crush on it, though. <laughs> Just don't act on it, that's all. <laughs> Yeah, it was kind of cool to see her husband at WIA with her. I always wondered what the guy looked like. Because <laughs> really you never surprised. see him. Yeah, I'm really surprised one of the DIY or HG channels hasn't picked up on her yet. Hmm. I've done, done a show with her because she's definitely got a camera present. So, uh, yeah. Just give it time. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we could say we knew her when. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Right back. Need a beverage. All righty. <laughs> yeah, this is a small show today, Alan. I'm sorry. But usually hey, no problem, man. This is usually, cool. It usually is bigger and lasts longer. <laughs> we, we burned up through our uh, topics pretty fast. <laughs> no problem. Hey, this is the first for me. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate the opportunity. This is cool. Oh, uh, I've... I'm. I feel privileged that you wanted to attend. This is oh. nice. <laughs> My pleasure, man. No problem. Mm. Well, everybody's out of town too, so. Yeah. Uh, Some folks are, yeah. I, I don't think there's a web connection in Kansas City. <laughs> I don't think they have internet there. <laughs> no. well, I know a few of the guys were trying to do a show or something from there. They, they, I guess the hotel bandwidth just wasn't enough. Yeah, my buddy Braxton wanted to hang out with me last night, and uh, it was choppy service, so he's there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, he was walking around the lobby showing me stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would have been a good show if they could set that up, though, like right from the middle of the show floor or something, yeah? Yeah, they're all busy with their stuff, so, you know. Yeah, I, I saw them pounding beers, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway. For some reason, it was the camera stuck. What's up? I totally want to get me some easy wood tools. Yeah. Hold on a minute, guys. Uh oh. This commercial is brought to you in part by. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alan, you guys gonna be at the woodworker show in um, Springfield, Mass, in January? Are you asking me? Yeah, well, yeah, you're the only one here, so. <laughs> well, I didn't. My hearing's terrible, guys. But uh, okay. which 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 place is it? Uh, it's a woodworkers show. It's in Springfield, Mass, in January. Oh, okay. I'm with you now. Um, I probably won't be there, but we'll definitely have uh, Bob Baxter from Peachtree. He'll be demonstrating our tools, and then we'll also I mentioned Bradley McAllister earlier. He'll have his own uh, little area that he demonstrates easy wood tools and some other tools as well. Okay. But uh, so so yeah, I'm, I may not be at that particular event, but we'll we'll certainly be well represented. Excellent. Cool. Yeah, so, well, that's usually the way I'll go to for in town. So. Yeah, I've been to a couple of those over the last couple of years, and they're uh, yeah, I definitely enjoy those things. They're, they're hopping. I was I, I was at the one in Indy, uh, I believe, last year. Had a heck of a little snowstorm driving back. I believe, I believe that was last year. And then uh, I believe the year before might have been Atlanta, somewhere. Yeah, I, the one up here in January last year was well, this past year. I got back from it, and it's only a day trip, but literally two days later, that first of the big snowstorms hit us, and. It was just hell on earth from that point on. But when yeah. you said the Indy snowstorm, I knew exactly what you were talking about. So I got family there too, and yeah, you know, we we're commiserating each other online about whose storm was worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alan, you know Patrick Lapierre? Is that his last name? Uh, something like that. Close enough. Yeah. Yeah, Lapick boys. Le Pic yeah. I was talking to him prior to the show. I was like, you want to be on the show tonight? And he's like, no, I'm working on my X card right now, and I'm away from the house. Right. Uh, and then I finally get a hold of you and asked you, and you said, yeah. He, I bet he would have loved to have been on tonight. 
Yeah, well, and I tell you, me and Pat are pretty good pals. Um, next time, mention you know, try and coordinate he and I together, and uh, yeah, we'll 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 get on here. Well, yeah, he's he, he's he going to be on next weekend. There you go. Um, well, let's see. Next Saturday, um, I should be wrapping up at, like I said, Rockler down in Orlando. So I may be back to my uh, hotel room by that time. So yeah, you know, do what you did tonight. Shoot me a message, uh, and I'll try to make it. Yeah, yeah I love even if I have to extend it up an hour or so, I'll, I'll make it convenient for you. There you go. Yeah, Pat stopped by the office um, here about three weeks ago. Uh, drove drove down from Quebec, and uh, of course he stopped at a couple other guys, the drunken woodworker and uh, Paul Jackman. Yep, Paul Jackman. Yep. Yeah, and uh, but yeah, anyways, we got to meet Pat, and yeah, he's he's a cool guy. Yeah, he's a good buddy of mine. Yeah. I love his videos. He, yeah. He does, he does good stuff. <laughs> yeah, I and, guess he's got that one guy doing his camera work. I forgot his name. Yeah, he's a another friend of his, and yeah, I I can't recall his name. Another one of those crazy French names, hard to pronounce for, <laughs> yeah. for this K Kentucky kid. <laughs> yeah, cool. That'll be a good show next weekend. Well, another thing Pat and I have in common is uh, we both play music. Um, I play bass and guitar, and he plays bass and guitar. So, yeah, that's something we, we have in common. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I put my earbuds in, and uh, I see Chris has his in. Or no, is that yeah, that's Chris. Yeah, this is definitely a lot better. Well, I've been telling Chris no, that no, Patrick, his microphone's Patrick, kind the, of off. The one with the, the earbuds, I got you. Oh, yeah, I got the earbuds in. Yeah. Yeah, we've yeah. got a, hey, I've got that a works headset. A lot better. We've got a yeah. headset and a microphone, but my wife's on a class online right now, and she's using it. So. There you go. Yeah. Well, you yeah, he's actually here get, with the headbud, the earbuds on. So the person hey, you, getting the education gets gets priority. <laughs> well, hey, and anytime you can earn some points and keep Mama happy, mm -hmm. do thumbs up. Yeah. 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 Tell happy about, life. Spent, happy life. <laughs> I spent the day at a dog show. They call the Beagle Dash. Oh my wife gosh. Take our beagles to an event that was all beagles. Yeah, it was I like insane, beagles. But you know what? I love beagles. I love my dog. But you pay the price. Every now and then. <laughs> yeah. And um, she she picked me up from a college reunion last weekend because I was in no condition to drive, so I knew I was going to pay for it. <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> you know what? It's, it's all in good fun, though. So. Well, cool. So, Alan, you're going to be on next week. I'll, tr I'll try to get Patrick on. He said he's going to be on next week, so... I think our topic for next week would be turning. There you so go. For our viewers that are interested in turning, this will be a show not to miss. <laughs> turning or rock and roll music. Sounds yeah, good. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, and listen, I tentatively I'm I'm committing. So uh, yeah, certainly Brian, right, I'll, right, I'll right. sure I'll sure try to be available, but I can't make any uh, promise. Like I said, if you can't be on here like an hour later or so, just let me know and I'll right schedule on. it for then. Right on. Well, that's all I have for this week. I want to thank you guys for watching and you guys that are on the panel, I want to thank you for participating. Thanks. And thank like you. I said, next week it'll be all about turning, so stay tuned. Alrighty. Thanks, Brian.